Welcome back to Primetime News and a special welcome once again to our viewers on OneSpotMedia.com. Up first this evening, the People's National Party PNP this afternoon revealed that its president, Dr. Peter Phillips, has been diagnosed with stage 3 colon cancer. The PNP made the revelation in a press release this afternoon. Now, Vashon Brown has been tracking this development and now joins us live. Vashon? Thank you so much, Janella. Now, you will recall that on March 23, the PNP issued a statement saying its president, Dr. Peter Phillips, would undergo a medical procedure. Since then, there have been rumors about his medical condition. He was released from the hospital on Saturday. Last night, those rumors went as far as saying the PNP president has cancer, something which PNP insiders denied initially. But the calls for the party secretariat to officially comment on the state of the PNP president's health did not go away. Today, a statement from Dr. Phillips's medical team said health evaluations of the leader of the opposition, which were completed yesterday afternoon, resulted in a diagnosis of stage 3 colon cancer. Dr. Phillips himself also issued a video statement. Now, you were supposed to hear Dr. Phillips there saying he's in full recovery mode. He issued a video statement earlier. He went on to say the surgical removal of the cancer was on March 23. Now, the statement said Dr. Phillips will further uh, need preventative treatment in the form of chemotherapy over the next few months as an outpatient as he continues his public duties. Now, the leader of the opposition will remain on leave for the next two weeks, but having him do chemotherapy and resuming public duties, is that an appropriate decision? Well, that question was put to PNP Vice President Wickham McNeil on Radio Jamaica's Beyond the Headlines earlier this evening. Um, discussion with, the, uh, with Dr. Newnham about it and indicated what they're suggesting he needs to have. They feel they got everything, but as a preventative, they're going to give him chemotherapy. And that chemotherapy, you get it once a month, and and he would go in, get it for half an hour, whatever it is, and he may be down for a couple of days. But the fact of the matter is that many persons, they do not feel that he's not able to do the work that needs to be done during that period of time. So they're saying that from the point of view, he can continue his, his duties during that period of time. Um, you have to also remember that the, the party as a team has an entire team behind him. Uh, we have the chairman of the party, the GenSec, we have a leader of opposition, business, the vice president, the entire officers' corps. We're all there working along with Dr. Phillips during this period of time. So for now, what we have done. Now, as I mentioned a short while ago, there were questions about the state of Dr. Phillips's health. The party officers said they fully understood and supported the doctor's position of not making a public statement before completing their testing and evaluation regime. Now, the PNP office officers said during the next two weeks, while Dr. Phillips is on leave, regular party activities uh, permissible within the COVID-19 restrictions will proceed. I'm now joined by a uh, senior medical officer at the Hope Institute, Dr. Dingle Spence on Zoom. Uh, Dr. Spence? Good evening. All right, good evening, Dr. Spence. First of all, what's the function of the colon and where exactly do you find it? Well, your colon is in your belly, as we would say in Jamaica, in the lower abdomen if you put your hand on your tummy you're going to feel your colon so that's what other name for it is your large intestine and it's basically central to your digestive processes <clears throat> and for for creating waste now the pnp statement kept referring to dr phillips's condition as stage three curable colon cancer can you explain first of all the use of that word curable and what exactly happens at this stage so as you may be aware, um, a cancer is an abnormal growth of cells and colon cancer usually begins in the lining of the colon. And then it can be very silent at that stage and then it can grow through the wall. So you can have the inner lining, the muscle wall and then an outer lining. And then so the cancer can grow through from the inside of the colon through the wall and it can get to the outer lining. But what makes a cancer a stage three is when the surgeons have collected what we call the lymph nodes. In Jamaica, we would say wax on canal. I think many people would know, know that term. So the lymph nodes are kind of way stations that collect 
and protect the rest of the body so it will stop anything spreading as best they can. So when the doctors take out the cancer in the colon, they will also take out some of the lymph nodes. They will look at these nodes and see whether the cancer is in the nodes. And if cancer is in the nodes, that what, that's what puts you into a stage three. So being PNP president and leader of the opposition can be a very active job. So does the PNP president need to take any extra precaution given the coronavirus pandemic? Certainly, just like anybody else who has what we call comorbidities or medical conditions, and that would not just be cancer, but diabetes, high blood pressure, asthma and heart disease. Those folks definitely need to take more precautions, probably stay at home, you know, not do the social distancing we're all learning about um, and definitely, you know, take take very conscious care of themselves um, to, to avoid being infected at this time. All right, Dr. Spence, that's where we have to leave it. Thank you so much. That was Senior Medical Officer of the Hope Institute Hospital, Dr. Dingle Spence. Now, earlier on, I mentioned that the PNP president had issued a video statement. Here's that insert. The fact is that a few weeks ago, just before the budget debate, having completed my medical, my annual medical examination, the doctors discovered an anomaly, as they call it and figured that we needed to move rapidly, particularly because the COVID crisis was upon us as a country. They did the surgery, the surgery is successful. I am now at home and I am in full recovery mode. All right, thank you so much. We'll continue to monitor the developments involving the opposition leader and PNP president, Dr. Peter Phillips.